and welcome back to Game On with Peter, and today we're playing Movie Time. The goal of the game is to order these movies by their release date. Ready? Begin! I'm here to judge the movies. White Christmas is the oldest. Yeah, yeah. The next oldest was Christmas Vacation. Yeah, yeah, cause I watched that growing up. Next oldest was The Chronicles yeah! of Narnia. Yeah! Then after Chronicles of Narnia is Facing yeah! the Giants. Yeah, great movie. Ranger. It's a great movie. You should watch this movie. Then in 2012, came the League of the Incredible Vegetables. Yes! Yeah! And finally, Shaun the Sheep was released Woo! in Woo! 2015. Woo! I love you, Peter! Aww. All right, folks, that was Game On with Peter. I think my mom won. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye! How many of you love popsicles? They're a great summer treat, right? But maybe not right now with all this snow and ice on the ground when it's freezing cold outside. But when it's hot outside, popsicles are really great. Now, do you know who invented the popsicle? Hmm. Hmm. Popsicles were invented in 1906 by Frank Epperson. Frank left a mixture of powdered drink, water, and a stirring stick in a cup overnight on his porch. It was a very cold night, and when he woke up, he discovered the frozen treat waiting for him outside. Frank named the treat the Epsicle after his last name, but he later changed it to the Popsicle. Now, do any of you want to take a guess at how old Frank was when he invented the Popsicle? Frank was only 11 years old when he invented that awesome frozen treat that all of you partake in over the summer. It goes to show that kids can be just as wise and clever as adults can be. When we spend time in prayer and reading God's word, we have access to God's wisdom. God can make us wise so that we can make good decisions and he can teach us how to live godly lives. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. Follow Jesus and spend time with him every single day. God will make you wise beyond your years. Oh, I need Tylenol. I have a headache because of all this wisdom being given to me. Uh, oh, hi. Guess what, kids? You can be wise too because God can give you wisdom. Just like God gave Jesus wisdom at the age of 12. He was preaching to a bunch of old people. Hey, Ray for today's Bible in reverse. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. All right, everyone. Let's go dance for Jesus.
Did you know that some of the most important inventions ever made was created by kids? It's true! The calculator was invented by Blaise Pascal. Pascal was a very famous mathematician, but he was only 18 years old when he designed the very first calculator. Philo T. Fransworth was only 15 when he showed his high school science teacher drawings for an invention. The teacher was impressed, and Fransworth continued to work on his invention, a device we know as the TV. Louis Braille invented a form of reading for blind people. He was only 15 when he did it. Chester Greenfield was only 15 when he created an invention you all probably use in the winter time. Earmuffs. And let's not forget Joe Siegel and Joe Shruster, a pair of 18-year-old artists who loved science fiction and created a character we all know as Superman. Each one of these kids had wisdom beyond their years. They didn't wait to put that wisdom to use either. They used it as kids to change the world. Today's story is another wise child, one wiser than any of the inventors I've mentioned. He's one of the most intriguing kids in the Bible because he's the most important person in the Bible. This story is of 12-year-old Jesus. Every year, Jesus and his family would go to Jerusalem at the Feast of the Passover. One year, when Jesus was just 12 years old, he stayed behind his mother and father at the temple and preached to the teachers at the temple. The teachers were amazed by Jesus' wisdom, and all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and the answers he had to their questions. His mother and father did not know where he was. They had already traveled home a day's journey before they realized Jesus wasn't with them. They went back to Jerusalem looking for him and found him at the temple. Jesus' mother, Mary, asked Jesus why he had stayed behind. And Jesus said, why were you looking for me? I must be in my father's house. From that day on, Jesus continued to increase in wisdom and Mary and Joseph were sure to keep an eye on him. It's no surprise that Jesus would have awed the men at the temple. He was only a boy, but he was also God's son. Whatever God knew, he knew. And the men at the temple could not believe a young boy would know as much as he did. Sadly, this happens all the time with kids and adults. Kids are kids and they have wild and crazy thoughts and often act immature. That said, kids can be very wise and very observant. Adults often miss out on the great learning moments because they're not really listening. What can an adult learn from a kid? Adults can actually learn a lot and kids can teach a lot. Kids can gain wisdom well beyond their years just by following Jesus. God has given us an endless source of wisdom. It's called the Bible. In the Bible, God has shared everything we need to know about who we are and who he is. When we read the Bible, we gain insight into why the world is the way it is. The Bible teaches us that we are sinners living in a sinful world. Our natural instinct is to be sinful and selfish, to do things only for ourselves. Jesus came to die for our sins and to show us a better way to live. Now we can live for God by serving him and serving others. God's word also gives us the wisdom we need to make tough choices. It's hard to stand up for what is right when everyone else is doing the wrong thing. Wisdom will show you what you need to do to take a stand and tell others this is not right. I will not just do it because everyone else is. The more time we spend with God in Bible study and prayer, the more wisdom we gain. Living for God becomes easier not only because it's easy, but because we learn to think like Christ. We learn to think of others instead of ourselves. The greatest thing we can do to prepare others for a life of service to Jesus is to begin spending time with him now. Get into the habit of prayer and Bible study while you are still young, because when you are older, it will only get harder. Grow in your relationship with Jesus while you are still young, and you will be strong enough to face the questions and challenges that come when you are older. God has given us a source of great wisdom. He is inviting all of us to share in that wisdom. Ask God to give you the wisdom his son had as a child and let God make you wise beyond your years. Bye, everybody. And hello, welcome back to Trip Andy. I'm your host with Must Andy. Today is multiple choice question number one. Mary and Joseph were looking for A, the temple, B, their son, or C, directions to Nazareth. The answer is B. Next question. Mary and Joseph found Jesus, A, in the temple, B, playing with 
friends. Or C, at home. The answer is A, at the temple. Next question. Jesus told his parents that he had to be A, home by 8, B, at school the next day, or C, at his father's house. The answer is C, at his father's house. Next question. We gain wisdom by A, reading the Bible, B, praying, or C, both A and B. The answer is C, both A and B. That's it for Tree Dandy. Bye! Recap! You have the potential to be wise. In fact, you could be wiser than most adults. As Christians, we gain that wisdom by spending time with God by praying and reading our Bibles. Jesus was only 12 years old when he shared his wisdom with adults in the temple. The adults knew that Jesus was different. He was wise beyond his years. This week, I challenge you to spend time with God by praying and reading your Bible. I cannot wait to see how wise you become. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed our kids church lesson for today. Now before we go, you know that I want to go over our Bible memory verse and pray with you quick. Our Bible memory verse for today is, I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Let's say it again. I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Philippians 4.13. Don't forget to check out our Make It Stick page today with your parents. You can find that link in the description, or you can go to this link right here. Okay, let's pray together. Father God, thank you, Lord, for our awesome kids' church lesson today. God, thank you for showing us that it doesn't matter how old we are or how young we are, you are the one who gives us wisdom. Father, I pray that all my friends have a safe, awesome week. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, go out there and remember, God gives you wisdom. Have an awesome week. Bye.